stability, okay? Actually, I'll do a, uh, face this a look. <coughs> and I hate to have my rear end towards you guys, but look from here, I attack a shitty key locker here, look. I need to be here, okay? This foot constantly needs to be driving in, okay? Because, and my head should be down, because my head's up like this, he can take that arm and grab that collar, and he's gonna scoot his hip out, and I have literally no balance out. So your head, needs to be down. So even if he begins to bring that arm in, you're okay. This foot has to be driving forward so that you have balance forward. Because if you don't have it forward, you're not gonna definitely prevent any weight from pushing back into you, okay? And the problem is here, he can turn his right side and walk his hip away and there creates a hole and I fall into that hole right away. So it's not good for me, okay? So we got here, so the head is down right here, okay? And now what I wanna do is I wanna be able to use my feet to move my hips, okay? So as I move this way here, okay? And I'm gonna roll my hips right here, okay? I wanna have this foot out and my head low because if my head's high, oftentimes, he'll just bridge cross face and then he'll come back up into my guard. So if my arm is here, okay, I want my head down, I'm scooting back, okay? Because if he begins to try to shoot that, I can counter it right here, okay? And my right leg is pushing forward. I don't have my head up, it does me no good, okay? And my shoulder should be ahead of my hips, just as we talked about in uh, one of the other lessons here. So that here I can grab this knee and I can fold him like a fetus as I step over. So now I'm here, okay? Clap, and then my right hand shoots as my left hand comes out this way. So then it's not. I want to separate his elbow to attack a key lock. But most important of all, I want to establish position because it's position for submission, okay? So right here, I'm attacking a key lock. Because maybe here, I'll get the key lock, okay? It comes on quick because I fold it over my arm here. Oftentimes when you have the key lock here, that's where you gotta drag it down. But when you unfold it right here, it's already in the key lock position, because it's locking, okay? He moves it around, I'm gonna cut that elbow here, scarf hold here, okay? As I drive up, one, two, see how the hips rotate here? One, and then lean forward here, because my pressure's driving forward, forward, so I can go here, here, it's more like a big steamer here. And I wanna take this elbow and tweak his head offline here. As I begin to put my core hips on his sternum, okay? And on his midsection, cause that's a lot of weight. And I'm clamping right here, but my knees are wide. I'm not pinching my knee, cause this arm is caught out, okay? So I can grab it here. If he begins to straighten it or try to move it away, it's already getting locked out. I can take it, roll it, grab it, Slide down. I like to do this with the key locks. And finish here. But most important of all, you have your position. And from the position, you have your submission. Okay. One thing I wanted to point out to you guys is this. Sometimes you'll attack this here, okay? And what I like to do is I like to fish for an underhook. The scarf hold here is where you have the underhook. If you miss the underhook, you go into a kiss of katami, okay? Right here where you're pulling the head. But you gotta remember one thing. That arm is his underhook. And he wants to pull this arm down to the mat. So you better control both. Cause he's gonna wanna shoot that underhook right there and pull this down. Yes, as I keep his head off the mat. This is okay, but if he shrugs his shoulders and looks up, he immediately begins to attach himself to me. Here, I hook the head and across and his crown right here, okay, as I'm pulling this strong. Because from here, I gotta be real cautious because he's got an underhook. So if I'm gonna switch my base, I don't wanna do this because he's got an underhook and he'll start coming up. And that's bad for me, okay? And he'll do the underhook the way that I show it, which is across the hip line and not grab it because you don't wanna grab with underhooks because whenever you grab, it's a tendency to pull. That's what he gets doing that underhook that way, sweating the eye. And next thing, get an eye raise, okay? Look. If you have the kiss of Katami, one thing you can do is also this. You can just mount, okay? And 
that's a good option because that underhook is a definite threat. But for now, right here, scarf over here. I'm gonna attack that key lock. He moves it away because it's just a fake here. One, two. Reverse cross fake. Roll the hip. You need to hit hip, sweep back, step over, and then right here, everything. And I clamp his head because this arm's already extracted because the further that elbow is away from his hip, the worse it is for him, the better for me, okay? And then from here, you have a key lock, yes, yes, no, no. If you attack it, you may start driving that arm down. Right here, I'm gonna start attacking this arm right here. Okay, any questions? Yes, no? Okay, try it and then we'll roll. One, two, three. Sorry. If I could get 